<laughs> so today we find ourselves at the airport because despite COVID and Delta's best efforts, we're going on vacation, finally. finally. So yeah, this is a trip we tried to take, I don't know, two years ago. And then COVID hit and we rescheduled like three times because COVID was only gonna last like three or four weeks, right? And so now we, we finally get to go, even though Delta canceled our flight, like, I don't know, 12 hours ago, something like that. So on our honeymoon, we went to Tahiti. We stayed uh, on the main island of Papeete for like three or four days. Mm -hmm. And then we did a cruise all around the Tahitian Islands uh, for the rest of the time. And the cruise basically just like blew the island away. So we're doing the cruise again, but we're going for longer. We're going for two weeks this time instead of one week. And I don't know exactly where we're going. Oh no, we're going to more. <laughs> We're going to more. We're going to the, some of the same. Yep. And then we're also going to the Cook Islands and the cruise actually ends in Fiji. So Tahiti yeah. to the Cook Islands to Fiji. <laughs> so we're just taking you all along today. We're not building anything. We're not fixing anything. Unless the boat breaks down, then we'll be fixing the boat. But uh, it's, it's going to be a good time. We'll show you the island. We're going to go diving. Um, so here we go. Oh, and if the audio sucks, I apologize because I did not bring the big microphone we usually have. We're going, we're going stealth cruise camera style. <laughs> This obviously isn't a boat just yet. Uh, because our flight got canceled, we had to come in a day early. We were staying at the Tahiti Hilton, and it's a really nice place, but uh, now onto the boat. We are on board the Paul Gauguin. It is a cruise ship that operates primarily in the South Pacific, so like Tahiti, Fiji, all those small islands. It's a smaller boat, so we can get into those shallow waters that the big boats can't get into. So to put that into perspective, like the big boats that have like all those water slides and go-kart tracks and things like that, they hold like 5,000 people. This boat only holds about 300 people at the most. And so the particular cruise we're on, there are about 220 guests on board and 230 crew members. So like the level of service on this boat is amazing. Every time you turn around, there's somebody asking if you want something, if you need something, whatever you want, just ask for it and they'll give it to you. So that's one of the great things about this boat. Like everything is included. I mean, you still have to pay for like uh, excursions and spa appointments, things like that. But if you want like any food, alcohol, anything like that, all included, there is no, like on the bigger boats, if you wanna to go to a special restaurant, you have to pay extra. On this boat, you just book whatever you want and you just go. If you wanna to go to the bar, you order top shelf, bottom shelf, doesn't matter, just ask for it, they'll give it to you. Uh, that's enough facts though, let's get on with the cruise. So this is the boat's first stop. This is Morea, and we actually, we don't have anything to do here today because we have to go take a dive refresher course because we haven't been diving in five years and that messes up the timing with everything there was available to do. So we're just gonna kind of look around and see what there is to see. So far there's dogs and chickens. <laughs>
and this is our second stop, a place called Taha'a, and I'm sure I'm butchering all these names, so just, just go with it. Uh, we were supposed to go diving today, which is why I shaved for the first time in like two years, so I don't like, you know, drown in my mask when all the water comes in. Uh, but that got canceled, apparently the boat had engine problems or whatever, um, but it's not all bad. Yes because we get to go to a private island and they're gonna do a Tahitian barbecue and um, there's good snorkeling. Yep, snorkeling, right? water, sun, sand, yeah, coconut we need drinks. Yeah, any more sun, but <laughs> anyway, yes, we're excited. We are in Bora Bora now. This is, it's a rainy day. Bora Bora is known as the Seattle of Tahiti. Uh, no, it's just, it kind of rains here off and on all the time. Five minutes ago, it wasn't raining. Now it is 10 minutes from now, probably won't be. Uh, so today we also don't have any activity plans. We did want to go diving, but that was full. Uh, it's okay, we've been diving here before. So we're gonna go diving in the next spot, but um, I don't know, two spot, whatever. Um, so today we're gonna do a little bit of shopping in the town and then once again the cruise line has a private beach somewhere and then assuming the rain stops we're gonna go there but make the best of a rainy day. You're saying there's a new puzzle? So this is day four or five, I don't know. They're just kind of running together at this point, but this is a day at sea and it um it rained earlier and they're they're kind of packing everything up. But uh we're still out here because we're crazy, uh, but yeah, not really too much going on. Just hang out and hang out. On day 437 in the Cook Islands at an island I can't pronounce, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, today we're going on like a boat snorkeling thing to the beach and yeah. taking out again generally. Yeah. Fish, fish lunch or something. Fish lunch? Yeah. Fish, we're inviting fish to lunch. See you there. <laughs>
tonight we're doing puzzles again. We are cool. We gotta finish these rocks. Who's gonna finish these rocks? Nope, I don't do puzzles. Bye. Now, if you noticed, there's no islands in sight, and that's because we're on another sea day, and we actually have, I think, three. In a row. Yeah, three sea days in a row. So uh, we're gonna just kind of go to the bar and um, never, never leave. Is that? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> now they have like activities and stuff on board. I don't know how much of it we're actually gonna do, but three days. What? Steven's getting a massage today. Oh, I'm, I may or may not be getting a massage. <laughs> and then he's getting his nails done. I'm not getting, maybe. I might be getting mine. No, I'm not. But uh, three days, no kids. Should be a good time. <laughs> and we're supposed to go diving, but Aaron is feeling um, poor. So uh, just me today. And diving is actually one of the best parts about this boat. Uh, so the back of the boat folds down, has like a marina back there. So you can get kayaks and paddle boards and stuff. Uh, but also whenever it's time to go diving, the boats just pull up right to the back of the boat. So I'm just gonna go down the hall here and get another boat.
out in Fiji. This is the island of Savu Savu. And uh, today we're gonna do some more diving. Good news, Aaron's not sick anymore, so Much she better. gets to go. And hopefully it's better than last time. Last time there's supposed to be like a bunch of sea fans and stuff, but apparently a cyclone came through and like wiped everything out. So if today is also terrible, I'm just gonna splice in some like old dive footage because last time we were here it was way better. Uh, but it's yeah. gonna be amazing. There you go, it's gonna okay. be amazing. <laughs> Between dives right now, we're waiting out our hour service interval at the uh, Jean Michel Jean Michel Cousteau <laughs> Dive Resort. Uh, I think they said there's like five rooms here, and they're booked out for two years. So if you want to come diving, it's very pretty. It's a pretty nice place, but you have to ahead. get on the list. <laughs> Today we are in Suva. 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 It's another island of Fiji from here on out. It's it's all Fiji, uh, and we're getting on a bus and going to the beach. Not much else. Beach day. Beach day.
that is Becca Island, and it's a little island right off the coast of the main island of Fiji, which yesterday was just a city, it wasn't an island, found that out later. Um, but today we're going diving around that island, it's supposed to be sharks, so um, chomp chomp. Yeah. <laughs> Who's not coming back? Turns out the, the sea might be a little rough for diving. Oh, so sad. So instead so of sad. sharks here, I now present to you sharks from Tahiti seven years ago. <laughs> So that is that. The cruise is over. We're now at um, the Hilton, Hilton Fiji. Fiji Resort on Denaru Island. Uh, we're just here for the day. Our flight leaves tonight at 10 o'clock. So it's not, not a bad spot to spend a day. Yeah, um, I yeah. wish that we had a night here. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, but uh, the cruise was great. Uh, diving was a little disappointing. We didn't get to go as much as we wanted. It wasn't as good as we remembered last time, but you know, things happen. Uh, we met a lot of great people on the cruise though. The crew was also awesome. Uh, I would name names, but there's literally too many to name. It's, it's a lot of people. They're so. incredible. They really make it. So uh, tell us in the comments where you want us to go next, and we'll go there because this was awesome. And I'm <laughs> glad y'all told us to go here because you didn't, but whatever. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Anyway, see you later. So that boat appears to be sinking. Do you think we can show that? Apparently, someone threw up in the hallway, and that's why all the fans are out and why all the barf bags are around the boat. Don't throw up in the hallway, folks. <laughs> Kind of a concerning noise. Now, if you're wondering where our children are, we put them up for adoption before we left. God, that made my stomach drop to say things like that. No, my parents are taking care of them, so thank you very much for taking care of them. They're, they're a handful. 